day 229 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on here at Free Code Camp. We are now diving into the intermediate something or other. Intermediate front end development projects. Build a random quote machine. All right, let's see what we are actually up against. We took a peek at this yesterday, decided to go another route, uh, solving stuff at Code Wars, but today we are going to try and conquer this. Uh, yet again, limited time to stream as usual, but let's see how much damage we can do. Build a random quote machine. One, objective, build a code pen IO app that is functionally similar to this guy. All right. We saw this yesterday. You can't handle the truth. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Wizard of Oz. And what else? The use of... C-O-B-O-L, cripples, cobble, cripples the mind. Its teaching should therefore be regarded as a criminal offense. Pro probably, yeah. Uh, not sure. Life is a banquet, and the most poor suckers are starving to death. Sure, there's all kinds of, uh, all kinds of quotes. In the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Ooh. Strongly worded, Mr. King. Uh, I've had a wonderful time, but this wasn't it. Sure. Okay, so we could cl keep clicking that button all day long. Human history becomes more and more a race between education and catastrophe. Yeah, yeah, some of that. All right. So, random quote machine. Fulfill the below user stories, whichever library, uh, use whichever libraries or APIs you need. Give it your own personal style. User story one, I can click a button to show me a new random quote. Click new quote. All right, that's the first bit. Second thing is user story. I can press a button to tweet out a quote. So that, I believe, is going to be the biggest issue of our current challenge for today. Remember to use read, search, ask. If you get stuck when you're finished, click the I've completed this challenge button and include a link to your code pen. You can get feedback by sharing your project with your friends on the Facebooks. Yes, yes, good. Once more from the top. It's only a minute and 30 seconds, but we can wait and go through and this is a slightly older version but yeah yeah good see something like that random quotes user stories good times good times love it love it love it yeah yeah great okay we are off let's do this uh pause that noise and do 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 that's our template whole lot of nothing just quote and a button, and a, a, a tweet button. So, ask and you shall receive. Not what you asked for, but uh, something basic and hideous. That's what they're going to end up with. New pen. Okay, so, what do we need let's go ahead and I'm trying to think of how much CSS stuff we're going to need to implement they mentioned they wanted a button so we're at least going to need to have a button rightfully so Is there a button section? There was borders, border radius, add rounded corners, circular images, add a submit button. Hmm, no, radio buttons, check boxes. 
<laughs> RGB nonsense. I think we'll be fine. D D D D D D D D Dum 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 Add a submit button. Do we want the submit button? I don't know if we do. Open a link a new tab. Rounded corners. Add borders around your elements. We'll probably want that. Specify how fonts should degrade. Style multiple elements with a CSS class. We'll probably want both our buttons to have similar styling. Um, I'm a supporter. Fill in the blank. You know, there was something about the buttons themselves. There was some cool thing. Was it jQuery? Like, there was a library... I think it was CSS, but of different icons. And you could indicate whether it was information or like a share button and whatnot or a reply. It had some basic fundamental logos slash icons, if you will. I think icons is probably the proper... Responsive design with bootstrap. Create a bootstrap button. Look at that. Look at that. Center text. Oh, yes. Make images responsive. Taste the bootstrap color rainbow. You know what? It was bootstrap buttons. Use span for inline elements. Icons. Add font awesome icons. That's what we want. Yeah, all of this. Get in there. What's going down? Nobody even knows anymore. Label bootstrap buttons. Hmm. ID attributes. I guess bootstrap is what we want. I know we should have a better understanding of the core CSS first, but we're kind of learning on the fly here, so it's not exactly pretty. This is like if someone were to hire us to do surgery. We we would be there standing next to the patient, and we would just have the textbook open, laying there on their chest as we're cutting into their abdomen. And we just kind of follow bullet point by bullet point. Not a high rate of success for that patient. Uh, what are we looking for? I think that's about it there so we had button stuff who doesn't love button stuff <laughs> uh what are we looking at we are looking at wasn't there a button we were adding a button run test add a submit button to form Hmm. Button type submit. I don't see a button type. Add a submit button to your form element with the submit as text. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D well, we can worry about that later. Add something or other. Add borders around your elements. Yes. The type of border and what we want. We could do... Class. So this has the class red text, which has the class thin red border. 
Also, I get the feeling it looks like it got rid of all the code we added to our activities previously. We've got the green check marks, but we don't have the code implemented anymore. We do have the examples, which are perfect and probably better than the code we submitted for our activity, but nevertheless, something about something. Blue text, cat photo, red text, H2, yeah, classes and classes, and we've got a dot. Let's look at bootstrap. What do we have? So, like button. Cool. Uh, that would end up being, create a new button. Here, button class, BTN. It's inside, that's right, it, <sighs> Bootstrap lives inside all the container nonsense. It's looking for something. Then we have to give it the specific class, and then we have to do other crap like that. Versus if we just stick with basic CSS, then we don't have to worry about all the div class nonsense. I'm trying to decide what we what course of action we want to take. What about centering the text? Now that we're using Bootstrap, we can center our heading element to make it look better. All we need to do is add class text center to our h2 element. h2 class red text text center and then our text cat photo app. H2 down here, class red text text center. So that is unique to not just all H2s, but this specific implementation of H2. Div class container fluid. All right, we'll 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 do it. We'll do div class and we'll just play along and we'll be fine. Everything will be okay. From there, we will do font awesome. This is just a good refresher for what we're up against. Instead of making it super, super crappy, it will just be singular, super crappy. Yeah, one notch up from shockingly terrible. That's where we're currently at skill-wise, so that's as good as it's going to get. Um, add font awesome icons. The link ties it to font awesome. From there we do info circle. Didn't we have info circle? I thought we added that. Hmm. Maybe it got rid of it. It has the thumbs up for it. I thought they also had other things in Font Awesome, like uh, the Twitter icon and the Facebook logo or whatever. Things like that. Where are we looking? We're looking at different divs, row, the column length, and all that compared to something. Where is the like button? Aha! Button. Primary. Thumbs up for like. So button class, BTN, BTN block, BTN primary, that was all additional stuff. BTN primary isn't essentially necessary. It's there and available. I think BTN is mostly critical. So what's missing from these? It's button class, BTN info, danger... I think it's the class. Yeah, it's the font awesome class inside. I. I class to add font awesome stuff. Okay, so that's a good refresher. Uh, what's this? Add icons to Oliver. Ah, that was sort of the preemptive initial strike. No need to worry about that. This is a bit better.
I class font awesome so forth and such and such. Font awesome is convenient. Blankety blankety blank. You know what? We should have kept the other one though because font awesome. He's loading the link. Wasn't it here? Yeah, that's the link we want for now. Oh, well. Is that free code camp? No, this is actual. That's a legitimate external link that we can utilize in our own stuff, I believe. Unless it's already tapped into... What's it called? code pen which we need to change the settings for our code pen to utilize bootstrap but we'll we'll get there we will get there we are finishing up we're almost to the end labeling in bootstrap target one text one id target one target two those are the titles button class one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Otherwise, add attributes. Blankety, blankety, blank. I don't think we actually need the last two. Oh, son of a... We're just randomly clicking on things. My bad, my bad. Hold on. All the way down here. Okay, we're good, up and running. Let's hit the ground running. Uh, settings. Do, 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 do. Quick add bootstrap four. Save and close. Uh, what do we want to call this? Auto save enabled. Yeah, sure, hopefully. Fingers crossed, right? The, what about the auto-run? Crap, I got, isn't there like an auto-run issue behavior? Auto-save, auto-updating. If disabled, use the run button. We'll be fine. We'll leave it with the auto-run. Although, damn, damn. JavaScript, when we put in... The random button is it just going to be continuously randomly updating no no it won't we'll be fine we'll be fine don't worry about anything just dive into it start start coding something uh text quotes random quotes death super death Div closing div uh da da we can do h1 i mean it's supposed to be kind of a, a big big quote anyways so i don't see what would be wrong with doing that command z this is gonna end terribly h1 uh quote and stuff Okay, quote and stuff. Let's do. Feel like we're gonna need to end up utilizing, like, math dot random or something. 
See, I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a... a ra it says build a random quote generator. But I don't know if they mean the quotes are random, are choosing, or if they mean that we have a set list, like a set of 5, 10, 50 quotes, and it chooses them at random. You know, it doesn't just go quote, next quote, second quote, next quote, third quote, next quote, fourth quote. I think it's, at least my impression was that it was supposed to be one, or the first quote, next, and then it's quote 17. You hit next again, now it's quote 34, and hit next again, now it's quote 2, hit next again, now it's quote 49. That's probably not the case, because in my mind that seems way more difficult, unnecessary. Now that I think about it, I do believe it's just choose quotes at random. I think. Uh, anyways, so... If that were the case, though... It's so broad, I don't even know where to begin. I know where to look, and I guess that highlights the issue, the learning curve, especially with me doing the same low-level tutorial-based stuff over and over. I know where I could look and probably should look for hints and things like that, but I don't have the immediate answer off the top of my head. I don't know if that's because the challenges are getting more difficult. I I feel like it should be one-to-one -one skill level and challenge. Not quite one-to-one. -one. I know it needs to be a challenge. That way there's growth. If it was the same, we just our skill level would, would constantly stay the same if the challenges never increased or, or pushed us beyond our limit. So I know the challenges need to be out of reach, but they feel like they're just slightly out of our current skill level where we could reach comfortably although i guess it wouldn't be much of a challenge if we were comfortable so i don't know i feel like i'm crazy which i think we've proven that i most certainly am over the last 229 days but let's look i i know we're not supposed to uh look at their stuff but we've we've looked at it before and it's kind of like when we look at all the cool kids code in code wars we see the answer that they chose but it's so different from what we would have done i have no idea what that means so i don't really see it as detrimental i see it as more of a benefit as guiding us as where we could and should end up. So they are using Bootstrap, which is cool. Aha, look at that. Font awesome. See, I knew I was on the right path. That's all I need to know. Just general confirmation to, to assure me that I'm not heading in the completely wrong direction. I don't mind wandering around off the trail. But as long as I'm not doing anything hilariously negative. Mainly because we only have a small amount of time to stream. So, so they've got their entire Divi stuff. So yeah, well that's just building out whatever we feel like it should be. My concern though is how they're actually implementing the quotes themselves. That's what I want to know. So they've got div class quote, div class quote text, font awesome nonsense, and they're including author stuff, buttony things, the tweet quote, tweet this quote, blank font awesome for twitter font awesome for tumblr 
new quote button. Okay, so that's setting up really just the structure for all of this noise, the HTML. There is no quote actually being implemented. Not that I could tell unless it's the span. No. Quote text. That's what I'm trying to determine, is how to implement the actual text of the quote. I feel like it's going to be JavaScript stuff. Sorting through an array of sorts, an array of quotes. But let's look here first. CSS, they're importing fonts, Google APIs, some basic margins and padding, and some basic div stuff. There's the body, there's the footer. Ours isn't going to be anywhere this nice and detailed, but that's all basic, straightforward stuff. The quote box itself. Aligning text, aligning the box, they have their buttons. They've got the opacity, opacity, one of those changing when you hover over things. Kind of cool. We're definitely not going to be doing that. So ours can be a much, much more basic stripped down version of this, which it most certainly will be. Uh, getting the quotes. Aha! Uh -huh. So it is JavaScript sorting through all kinds of crap. Function. In iframe, return window self top. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be doing any of that. Colors and... Oh, that's what's changing the color. With each quote, it gets a different color. Yeah, no, ours is going to be a... A inspirational, basic, white background. Zero, 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 zero. Is it zero or Fs? Hmm, I think it's Fs. Black is zero, 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 zero. I think white is F, 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 F. Yeah, so that's going to be us. Just the one flavor. Current quote, current author, function, open URL, window open. So this is like a whole other nightmare inside of it. This is going to end in tears, guys. This is just going to be terrifically terrible function get quote ajax header nonsense they're accepting thing there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes just to get this quote to pop up url random famous quotes okay was thinking of finding a random quote website so that's cool that they found one and that's essentially what they're using success function r if type r equals string r equals json parse r so it's ripping the quote out of the website cutting it up at the quote portion and the author section if in frame tweet quote h reference this is just about hellish See, because I don't know how to implement the tweet and tying it to, to Twitter. That part's going to end in tears. Attribute H reference. Twitter. Encode URI. This would take days and weeks. We really are supposed to suffer with this. That's somewhat interesting. Quote text, animate. Yeah, we're not looking to animate. Bare bones. Document ready. Aha. See, don't run until document ready. So document ready function. Get quote. There's a new quote. Dot on click. This right here is the brains of the operation. 
tweet quote dot on a click function if not in iframe interesting open url twitter blankety blank concatenating the current quote and the author tumblr quote on its own click event same similar song and dance for tumblr open url tumblr.blah we're concatenating encode uri component current author content current quote so that's a lot of prep work just before the document ready stuff so we can use Just the bits and pieces of this as needed. Yeah, cool. All right, so I almost wonder if I should just go ahead and take the core stuff like this, the document ready and all that, and then just tinker with it from there. Kind of like a Lego set. You don't have to go make your Lego pieces. They come in a kit, and then you're piecing it together. I don't know if I should just pick the pieces and then kind of tinker with it from there, or if truly starting from scratch is the better way to go. I feel like I should start from scratch, although I've got an idea. I was like 66% two-thirds right. On, on what I wanted and needed. Setting up the div stuff to, to utilize Bootstrap, using Font Awesome to get the icons. Um, some basic CSS is really all we need to style the buttons, maybe the quote if we want, centering the text and stuff like that, nothing out of the ordinary, and basically a document ready function to hunt down the quotes and fire out the tweet. Now, I guess this is the main also a secondary to the document ready is a new quote and new tweet. Because those were set up, I believe, up here. Weren't they? No. That was all CSS stuff? It was not all CSS stuff. What am I looking for? I'm trying to hunt down. Maybe those are just very, ah. Tweet quote attribute. We're going to be fine. It's going to be awful. Let's do this. We're uh, basically already out of time. Fantastic. What's that little cat? Oh, wow. Super stretchy. Can we see her stretching up a storm? Well, she was stretching up a storm. Oh, there we go. Look at her. Look at you. You have so many toes. Huh. Deal with it. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, let's piece together this nightmare. Um, div class. No, not now. Oh, my God. Div class container. I don't even know. I don't even know. Just leave it. leave it there for now. Uh, so we've got quote and stuff just as a placeholder, a general idea of what's to come. Tiny cat, keep moving. CSS, CSS, what do we need? What do we need? If I were something in CSS, I would, no, no. How is that possibly the right place to sit? The whole desk is clean. Chilling right there is not going to help anybody, you furry abomination. Watch your toes. Just get comfy. 
Uh, hmm. CSS hell. The quote box. Is that a thing? Would that be wrong to call it quote box? Quote box. Maybe. Quote box. And the quote. Quote. Text. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. I can live with that, uh, and and maybe, maybe we do, um, button or something. B button, button, button. Why not? Uh, all right. So that's awful. Um, what else can we do that's equally hilarious? Yeah, yeah, good, good. So, things that rhyme with terrible. Document.ready, that's right. No, hey, will you stop licking and or cleaning orifices on your body right next to, oh my god, the keyboard. Why, why? Head facing towards me. Your backside facing the other way. Stop attacking wires. Those aren't for you. Oh, God. Why did we get so many cats? Why did we get this cat? The other two cats are old and fat and dying and they just sleep all day. I mean, she sleeps all day, but when she's awake, she's just the destroyer of worlds. It's to charge a phone. Leave the cable alone. Oh, my God. It's so hard to focus and learn. This has been the most arduous trial to try and master coding. Not master coding, learn. Just kind of slightly understand coding, really. That's all we were hoping for. But I feel like she's made it damn near impossible. Uh, document ready. Document ready. JavaScript. Happy thoughts, Stephen. Happy thoughts. Dollar. Document dot blah. Document. Well, that didn't work at all. Ready. There'll be a function of sorts. With more nonsense, I believe. Get quote, Ugh, death. So, get quote. We may have to copy a lot of their crap and strip out the shit that we don't understand and or want. I'm all for having and utilizing the click events. That makes sense. That's what's needed. Death. Hey, wow. Uh, uh, sub, subconscious uh, subliminal messaging. Didn't even focus on this at all the first time. I just saw div class and all the noise, and I focused on the font awesome stuff, and I thought to utilize Bootstrap, we'd need to keep their strange, what is it, the, the document, the class, the container fluid, and all that kind of nonsense. I thought there were, like, specific div class. Really? You're going to try and swallow the cord? Remember when I had to pull whatever it was like a ribbon out of you yeah or was it hair i don't know it was some terrible thing and there was like you know what i think was 
hair ribbon. I can't remember. There was so much crap tied together, but there was this like stringy thing hanging out of little little cat's mouth. I have to like start pulling on. It was just like hanging out loose. So I had to pull this string. She's like, <laughs> it was awful. And then there was all this kitty goo at the end of the string and bits of life. Oh. Little kitty, you're the worst. I love you. You're you're adorable and cute, but oh my god. Ugh. Your your decision making for life skills is some of the most questionable I've ever encountered. What am I what am I looking at? We were prepping, we were coming to terms with the fact that all of this is awful. Center. Is there like a center border margin? Uh center box. Let's just start Googling random crap. I'm not even interested in all of these things anymore. Just screw all of this. This is all noise. I'd rather just Google stuff from MDN anyways to keep us focused. First bit, what do we need? We need to class, remember, quote box, quote box, div, div, let's do a couple. Uh, I'm not sure why, but div, class container is that right <laughs> div class oh it was quotes bad it's been so long since we've had to do HTML and CSS. We've been on the, the JavaScript trail for weeks now. Div class container. Div class quote box. Div class quote text. Yeah, awful, awful. Div, hey, look at that, it's starting to move, cool. Neat. No one saw that coming. I know I didn't, I'm sure, well, actually, probably everyone else saw that coming, except for me. But I'm still excited. I changed code stuff. Deal with it, Qu Quito? Quito? Quote text. Okay, so there's that. Let's have our each one. Uh, death, I guess. It's probably it's gonna end up being some link to the JavaScript where it dumps in the quote. Maybe, maybe we're just setting up boxes of shit. I actually have no idea what's happening right now. Div you just copy this one and two. Yeah, nice. Um, okay, from there, quote box border. Border. Um, solid black one pixel. No, we did something wrong. Bad Steven. Bad Steven. Something is not quite border none. 
Well, what if we want a border? I know we're close. Something that rhymes with something. We're going to get there. We are going to get there. Um, maybe it's one pixel. Solid black. Damn, why do I always forget everything? Responsive design, create center text, responsive. Wasn't there at a border? That was somewhere else. Screw it. Hello, although, we'll look at this really quick. We're going to use MDN for the rest, because this is all just noise. Responsive design, blah, 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 div container. To get started, we should nest all of our HTML in a div container element with the class container fluid. Hyphen fluid. So we will do that. We will add container fluid because we can container fluid that's fluid blithering idiot fluid and let's hope for the best so mdn uh css border yeah nice doing border stuff Uh, one pixel. Didn't we already do that? Two pixels dotted. Medium dashed green. So, one. Oh, I guess I don't want one pixel. I guess I want two pixels. I don't actually know what I want. I think that's my biggest issue right now. Tiny cat, will you stop? being ridiculous you're just so sleepy and you're oblivious when you're sleepy and you start rolling around and pressing things <laughs> two wait what about eight what about eight pixels hmm? solid blue who sees a solid blue border anyone anyone at all raise your hand nope Fuckers. Buttons? Death. So... Border, two pixels dotted. Let's do this, medium dashed green. Where's that gonna end up? Ta da oh god, oh god. Well, eh? No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. That's what we want. Okay, so hold on. Oh, uh it's a class, so that means Period? Daha! We forgot the period. Gotcha. Sorry, little cat. Scared the crap out of her. My bad. Um, more stuff. And yeah, button is yet to arrive, but button's gonna be there. Green. Let's do red. Ha ha! Green and blue. Super ghetto. Love it. Love it. All right. We are in business. Now, we need a button under this guy. So, how would we do that? Let's do button of sorts. Button. Welcome button. You were a good button. You know what was button a single element? 
Like a or a, a, a single tag type element? No, no, aha, buttony goodness. Yeah, you don't. So, what's happening with button? Here, we will have class equals, we're in bootstrap, so btn primary. Aha, and it's blue. How do you like that? Who barely remembered something from a couple weeks ago after looking at it just a few minutes ago? This guy. All right. Um, so we've got our sad button. Quo next quote. Ah, it'd be cool if I didn't type it like an idiot, but, you know, whatever. Win some, lose some. Next quote. Yeah, look at that. All about that next life. Um, wow, we really need to kick it down a notch. Uh, <laughs> um, BTN primary, is there... We don't need a logo, but it would be cool. Maybe we could just do a font awesome logo by itself. It used I class font awesome font tweet. Boo, font, like, death, what was it? Something to do with something, type submit, submit button, no, no, no. Font awesome, icons and other buttons. D D D D D D D D D. Kind we're actually like making stuff. I know we're sort of following along. It's a kind of a hybrid copy pasta slash learn and tinker as you go, but it doesn't feel entirely wrong, and it's sort of fun. So that's got to mean something. You know what else is awful? Ha! The th on our tongue. Little kitty, you're just napping there, and it's uh, getting increasingly furrier and furrier in my mouth. <laughs> God, you're the worst. <sighs> Death. We're literally going to have a hairball inside of us, which is just awful. See, the thing is that you're doing absolutely nothing right now. You're sleeping, and you're still causing turmoil for me. It's like it's on the tongue and down the... It's bad. It's bad. It's furry. Uh, what am I looking at? Something about a button. This. This is what we're looking at. We don't need to block off the buttons. We don't need, I forget what the BTN class did. I think it's similar to the preemptive font awesome and the font awesome thumbs up. What else was there? Font awesome, let's look at the next one. Thumbs up. So FA thumbs up, info circle, FA trash. Let's try. F A. Oh, we already have that. F A. Hmm. What was the like one? Oh, thumbs up. That's what it was. Blithering idiot. Thumbs up. No, nobody. Not feeling it. That's cool. We don't need to do. Maybe that's what the BTN is. BTN? Well, that did something. Definitely styled the crap out of it somehow. 
Next quote, it looks better, that's for damn sure, but F.A. for awesome, awesome thumbs up. What am I missing as a human, aside from a soul and a fucking clue? Class. Oh, the closing eye tag. Those. Fine, fine, we'll do it your way. I also feel like we need to add the font awesome link somewhere. But who knows? Oh, God, who knows? Don't even care. Don't even care. Just keep chipping away at this nightmare. This very well may be a two-day event solving this. We had... There were only a few comparatively in the scheme of all things that occurred at Code Academy... Usually we were able to make it to the end of an event, of an activity, um, but if for some reason we can't make it to the end of this today, we will continue the party tomorrow. Um, just throwing that out there. Let's do the closing eye tag. Ta-da! Maybe something? So, link, blankety, blankety, blank, versus link, copy, you, ha ha, maybe, could be, still nothing. That's alright, we don't actually, well, oh, we do need icons, we do need icons. What are they using for, or does it go on, you know what, maybe it goes on the CSS side? Also no. Also no. Uh, quote box, can we do something that rhymes with I don't know why, I just hope that works. Damn. Fifty pixels? Does that do a thing? Aha! It's moving! It's moving. Deal with it. Ah, oh, you're poor sport. Um We'll get there. We will get there. So Auto stuff. What about percentage? 50%. Okay, uh, it disappeared. That's cool. That's probably deserved. What about 25%? Not gonna lie, I can actually live with that. Hmm. <laughs> 25% versus margin auto boo 50% okay they're also pissed I get that that makes yeah I'd be frustrated too uh 25% Aha! Yes, good, good, Stephen, good. We're kind of getting there almost. Um, text. What is it? It's a lot. Is it text align? Text align center? No, I don't believe you. Maybe it's just, no, just text. Well, it was a stupid idea anyways. We'll circle back to that issue. What the deuce? Is there a way to like, 
comment stuff. Is that how we comment things out in CSS? I can't recall. I feel like it is. I feel like it's not. All of this is making me sad. We're going to figure it out, though. It's not going to be pretty, but we will eventually figure this nightmare out. Quote and stuff. No one's going to hire me. <laughs> uh, all right. What else are we looking for? Aside from a less drippy nose. Frack. Let's see. We have something or other to do with something. We are nearing just about nothing. Quote and stuff. We need to get our quotes. Let's do, hold on, uh, center, border image, border radius, scaling background, bottom left, right. <sighs> Left, right, radius, right, style, right, width, style again, top color, top left, right, width, box, shadow. No, we aren't looking to box, shadow, anything. Fun border. Can edit CSS to experiment. Fun border, two pixels, solid red. Okay. Style, display, block. Yeah, display. Maybe that's why we need to center stuff. No. We'll get there. You know what? We have the HTML boxes. We've got our structure. We've got our, our quote box and quote text ready to be CSS'd and styled. We have one button, and we'll need a second button. And I think this is where the block comes in, the button block that we were dealing with earlier. Him, yeah, there. See how like info, blankety blank, B10 block. I think that solves why can't we highlight crap? That's really weird. It's only letting us highlight some things, but BTN block is a thing that we could be utilizing. What if we need to set up different buttons? I don't think we do. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. You know what? We will put our buttons in the div because we've got our, our button area that we set up. That's why we did that. This is why we have our, our button class. So... Button... <laughs> Um, div div class equals button. Nice, blue. Way cool. And that's one button down. And then we're going to have a second button. Copy. Uh, not BTN primary, but it will still be. 
Well, they're already next to each other, but let's see what BTN block does. BTN block. Hey, cool. One on top of the other. That's kind of neat. Block. Oh, oh, uh, BTN block. Oh, oh. Not gonna lie, kind of like the buttons like this. So next quote, and then we'll just set up one where it tweets the crap out of it. Hashtag tweet life. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so here would be, what do we want to call it? What are you thinking, little cat? Although she's been passed out for 15 to 20 minutes now, thank God. That's the only reason why we've made this small amount of progress. Uh, tweet? Next quote. Tweet this. You don't have to use the icons. It'd be kind of cool if we did. Not gonna lie, it would be cool. How did they set theirs up? Let's look at that. Uh, definitely not set up here, so good. And here, they had ID something or other. Oh, God. Oh, that came out of nowhere. What are we looking for? We are looking for Tumblr and Twitter. I class closing I tag div class buttons button ID tweet quote tweet this quote blank I don't know I just feel like FA Twitter should work for font awesome Twitter in my mind, I should see Twitter. Holy sh it works. What the f happened? Oh, maybe it was trying after the link was implemented. Aha! You're an idiot, Steven. You're an idiot. Good, good, good. All right. Well, that makes sense. So, is there an FA... Next? Boo, what about right? How about arrow? Right arrow. You guys suck. All right, so there's no What about What was it? It was left quote, I think. Son of a That's okay. It's okay. We're going to be fine. Dumb idea anyways, putting something in there. Uh, so, do we just, do we keep the bird? Do we get rid of tweet this? I, I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, we can get rid of tweet this. We'll just have the pigeon floating there by itself. I don't know if it's a pigeon, but some type of poultry, I assume. Closing button stuff. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. So what else do we have 
that we can address. Maybe we should do block, class block. What's this do? Block or it's display, display block. Does that do something? And then this display block, no buttons. Display block. Bastards. Um, we get rid of margins. That goes full. Okay. So that's fine ish, I guess. Nothing inherently wrong with that. Um, text. How the deuce do we align the text? MDN, CSS, center, text. It was text align. What the hell? We did text align. We already had this in there. Slimy bastards. Maybe it's how we've got it set up. Maybe it's because we did the display block now and life is better. What about the margin 25%? What happens if we kill that off? Oh, well, yeah, there's that. You know what? I'm good with that, too. I'm good with that, too. What about margin auto? Little space. Doesn't really change anyone's day. Let's live without that. So... What, uh... What do we do? Does that get rid of anything? No. I forget how to comment out in CSS. I feel like that might be an issue one day, eventually, but in the meantime, we're just going to live with it. We're just going to live with it. Quote stuff. Tweeting. What else should we look for? Quote and stuff. They want a next button and a tweet button. And we need quotes. We need at least, well, at a minimum, two quotes to cycle through. But hopefully we can generate more than just two. So we're going to need to find some quote database repository list thing to filter through. Or set up an array of quotes to cycle through via the JavaScript and have it dump in here somewhere. Um, yeah, let me, let me figure out what to do. Let's look for something called so forth and such and such. Text on, close, border stuff. Random JavaScript, random quote generator. 
Let's see what we find. Code lifter. JavaScript, why can't I get this random quote generator to work? Wow, 11 minutes? Son of a... We are so far past 11 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're four minutes... We're an hour and four minutes past 11 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's been an hour and 15 minutes of... What I assume most would describe as just sheer hell. I'm not sure how and why we're able to push through, but we keep keep on forging ahead. Confusion and frustration will not deter us. As far as I can tell. Let's see how we feel like day 300-ish. <sighs> Something to do with quote stuff. Just pick one, Stephen. Just pick one. They're all good. We know all of them are going to be better than where we're currently at. So, let's look at this guy. Wow, you were getting all kinds of rolly around and furry. And look at you. You're so, so cute, little, little cat. And your toes are warm because you're napping? Yeah, warm toes. Look at you. I have two of your legs. I have... I have all of the feet on the left side of your body in my hand right now. Yeah, look at that. What are you doing? Okay, your eyes are closed again. You don't care. You don't want any part of this. Random quote hell. Yes, yes, close out of that. Um, I had a dollar for every quote machine I found. Zipline build a random quote machine. Build a code pen app. Don't look at the example stuff. User story. Code snippets. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Paragraph. Quote text. <sighs> Quote text. So I've got H1 with a class of quote text. That kind of works. Twitter share. So we'll need to do something like this. I guess that's that's probably the link to share what actually happens when the button is used. Button type, button primary, new quote compared to oh, A for its anchor element, class, H reference, data size, blankety blankety blank versus our next button, which is the BTN primary, and tweet it, but. Oh, okay. That's the new quote button. It just functions as is. This, though, this button is housed within an anchor element. So we should probably make that change to ours. What else do we have here? My, my oh, that's his HTML code snippet. This is his CSS code snippet. Well, that's kind of cool. And then his Java uh, JavaScript code. Yeah, nice. All right, so. Forsmatic API JSON language blankety blankety blank. Variable get quote function data. Document dot ready, essentially. Quote text dot text data dot quote. I just, I don't think we've 
gone over anything like this yet at Free Code Camp. If we have, I don't remember it at all. But I feel like there's pieces of this puzzle that ha we haven't quite yet reached. And as we go through more of this activity and start to get a little more familiar with what exactly needs to be done, I know we've gone over some of the general tools like, you know, document.ready and stuff like that. And setting up click events or whatever type of listening events um, down here. But I don't think we've necessarily implemented all of these tools yet before. Let's see. What else? Don't mind. My nose is freaking out. Don't mind me. Nose crisis. Think amongst yourselves. I believe in you. All right, we're alive. Ugh, we found some form of a sneeze rag, for lack of a better phrase. There's a lack of tissue in the house. We had to commandeer bring toilet paper to blow our nose. Can you believe that? But we are back. We are alive. We can breathe again. And little kitty just left, so hopefully there's less fur in our mouth as well. Hey, Topher, how you doing? We are, uh, we're in the midst of trying to piece together a nightmare. Topher Gates, uncivilized, exactly, exactly. Squandered here. Uh, what are, why is our wheel trapped? We're, we're stuck. There we go. There we go. So, we were going over, this is definitely far more simplified than what we were looking at behind the scenes on their, their stuff. There's just a whole lot going on. And there's, and you know what, we can even bring this down a bit. But... I just, we're not ready quite for all of that. We definitely need, at the, the bottom portion is just about perfect. 
the document.ready function, getting the quotes, the click events for the new quote button, and the tweet quote. We can definitely use and implement those, but like 90% of this is just noise to us right now. So that's why this is so much more concise, and we're probably going to implement a fair amount of that. Now, again, we're, we're going to do other things. I don't know if we're actually going to break the author portion off from the quote. We may just do random quotes and, and ditch the uh, author function altogether. So, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Topher, you aren't supposed to look at the solution, though. Yeah, that is a great point. However... It's been, how long has it been? It's been an hour and a half of struggling, and even looking at their solution, I still don't have the answer. There's no light bulb. I mainly had a hunch for all of the things I wanted to implement uh, going through, and we, we found many uh, uh, things like using the font awesome icons and stuff like that earlier in the stream. And we, we checked their, their solutions merely to confirm or deny whether we were on the right path for the little that we had pieced together in our mind. Uh, basically, it confirmed for some of the basic things, like the font awesome button icons, that we were in fact headed down the right path. Uh, but yes, even looking at it, is just, I, I don't even know. I know it's the right answer. Doesn't feel like the right answer to me. We're still that far gone. We'll get there one day, though. Uh, Jerome724, what is BDX Inc.? Like a company. Uh, in general, yeah, company, brand, uh, mantra, whatever you want to call it, most certainly in indeed. Uh, however, despite that... When I set off on this whole Twitch journey, uh, what, 229 days ago, if I have the day correct in my mind, then it, it would have, I, oh, it was a whole nightmare. It was supposed to be Twitch, gaming, uh, music, movies, other things in real life, all that kind of stuff, the, that section. However, learning to code consumed everything, mainly because, the capture card I got is too good for the compute, the old computer that I currently have. My computer doesn't meet the minimum specs. Ergo, I can't stream uh, gaming as easily as I would like to. And there were all different, you know, racing games and adventure games, blah, blah, blah. So it was a smattering of issues and topics that I wanted to cover on this whole journey. Uh, but the only thing my computer could handle streaming was, in fact, things like this. Streaming, learning to code at places like Code Academy, Free Code Camp, and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm left with... left with... streaming this, and a lot of the other stuff, covering music and movies and doing reviews and other things, have all fallen to the wayside in the meantime while I try and conquer learning to code. Yeah, good times. Uh, Topher, you can do a number of things to solve this. Either make an array of quotes, that's what I was thinking of doing earlier, and select a random one from the array, use a quote API and get a random quote from it, etc. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the an array of quotes. Just like a small handful of them, and, and go, go with that. Uh, ah, okay, why are you using CodePen and not good IDE? Free Code Camp wants him to use CodePen. You. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, to go into even more detail regarding that. Wow, my face hole, little kitty. You've destroyed my nose. Brace yourselves, children. Look away. <laughs> oh, God, I apologize. I am a monster. <laughs> Uh, save yourselves. Uh, they have, <clears throat> if we don't collapse here with our lack of long 
so all their different sections they've got their challenges and topics they cover blah 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 then they have their project sections like this intermediate front end projects and the projects tada reference using code pen because they don't really have a great interface to do these types of projects so that's why code pen as topher had mentioned so they link to theirs hide the fork oh i thought it would have hidden the fork i guess not hmm well ah no either way this is uh that's theirs new quote and it changes, and it's pretty, and it makes sense, <laughs> versus, brace yourselves, yeah, quoting stuff. This is, this is the, where the money's at right here. Okay, uh, what are we looking for? We are looking for things. Something about... Setting up an array. I don't know if we actually need the document already. I think we do. But let's go ahead and set up an array for quotes. Variable. Quotes. That's not right. You're not, Doug. Equals. Now, question, Topher, since you are indeed here... What, uh, I don't fully understand in my mind, how do I shove the quotes into the HTML section, or, like, how, how do I, I'm lost, everything hurts, it's been an hour and a half, and this is all I have to show for an hour and a half's worth of work, even with answer in front of me, so... Everything's terrible. Copy. Quote and stuff. Comma. Quote and stuff one. Quote and stuff two. Yeah, these are these are things that make people think about how they're living their lives on a day-to-day -day basis. Quote and stuff three. Good times. Yeah, that's that's awful. So let's let's leave that there. Uh, what else do we have? Free code camp, blankety blankety blank. Uh, hey, there we even have others. Al uh, oh god, I'm so terrible with use usernames. Alpha something Hewitt? Alf Hewitt. Oh god, hold on, we've got the phone call issues. Don't mind me, think amongst yourselves.
Super death. Kitty issues. The third cat that's dying and is like 400 years old, yeah, we've got to give him drugs four times a day. So just instructions on the third of the fourth drugs. Yeah, good, good. All right, back to, to coding issues. Okay, wow, all kinds of comments. Uh, Jerome724, your mic is in the way. Yes, the mic is, it's a... Uh, side address it's it's part of life it's been that way for the last 200 plus days and that's as good as life will get in the meantime um but yeah it's it's definitely odd placement to say the least uh what are we looking for inner html or i think the text method with a jquery i don't know i don't use jquery much maybe something like dollar some l dot text quotes random null or random num i don't see why you even need jquery for this though tofer except for maybe to make connections to the twitter api a bit easier but that argument is a stretch well you're starting uh wow you're staring at the answer there i am oh yeah this guy here yes this was see so we went on a hunt because this again they've got no this is their answer even their html is infinitely better than than what i have. i'm not we're not get doing that i know we could that is a thing same with their css little kitty trying not to set the world on fire uh but there's there's just a lot going on I mean, I know it's CSS, you set up one, you can set them all up, but no, no. Basic, straightforward. See, we can visualize what the hell we're looking at with, uh, oh my god, cat, you're the worst. Just move your face. I don't know how to help you. You don't speak English, so just, look, lay on the bed. Go, go be a cat. Stop following my fingers. I'm just pointing, I'm not trying to lull you into scratching areas. Uh, anywho, so yeah, ba this, this is more of our speed right here. Straightforward, dirty, quick and dirty, nice and simple. Uh, this was one we stumbled across that was far more straightforward. I know, at least I believe, I'm going to be using a document.ready function before I trigger everything. So, that's... That was my two cents on looking at this, but I'm still unsure about implementing all of that because I'm not quite there yet, which is why I'm struggling. So inner HTML, that's your guess. B to D, D to D to D. Okay, okay. Text method jQuery. Let me look at my things through trigger a click event, change text with click event. Hey, maybe we did go over this stuff. Get JSON with jQuery and get some JSON methods, convert data to HTML. I feel like these first four are supposed to walk us through this random quote generator one. In this section, we'll learn how to get data from APIs. APIs are application programming interface. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. First, let's review document.ready, the click event handler, get message on click event function. Maybe we can take exactly this or close to this and shove it in our HTML and that would probably work. Changing text. When our click event happens, we can use jQuery to update the HTML element. Here is my message. Run. The message will go here. Click get message. Aha! Look at that. That's a thing. That is a thing. So this is basically 
what we are looking oh god oh god what we're looking for so there's that but to take it a step further you can also request data from an external source this is what i need we did it days ago we had the answer not just earlier today not even now but like four days ago we had the answer technically or whenever we did this son of a super death oh i guess it's the html method not text uh that's probably the external thing that we were just going to go over before i realized that i'm an idiot son of a uh get jason with J I swear to god cat why is it you always roll over the escape key just stop rolling around stop being a little cat we're trying to focus remember that apis uh are tools computers use to communicate with others most web apis transfer data in a format called json it stands for java script object notation you've already been using json whenever you created a javascript object uh json is nothing more than object properties sandwiched between open and closing curly braces these properties and their values are often referred to as key value pairs let's get the json or let's get yeah from blankety blank get json blah blah and blah so i would have my document dot ready function inside that i would do our text switch on the click event and then from there we would use the get json link slash object hmm i'm now questioning and, and now we're converting data this is the last piece of the puzzle so that's getting json with jquery and then converting json data to html now we're getting data from the json api let's display it in our html we can use the for each method to loop through our data and modify our HTML elements. First, let's declare an HTML variable, variable HTML, like so. So we still have those three document ready, get message, get JSON. We've got our HTML variable. Then let's loop through JSON, adding more HTML variables. When the loop is finished, we'll render it. Here's our code. Okay, so this, I assume, is what we can essentially implement, because before, so that's, let's move that up, that's their quote generator, beautiful, beautiful, Bond, James Bond, sure can't avoid reality but we're trying our best here's ours nowhere near as sexy or graceful quoting stuff that's going to be replaced we are going to be swapping this out for a document dot ready and all that other jasony goodness uh elliot judd hey what are you up to uh primarily trying to not cry on stream while i figure out this nightmare of a code random quote generator but more specifically to the code at hand, we are in fact doing a quote generator. It's supposed to look and function like this. Click a new quote button to get the next random quote and then have a button or two to tweet out said quote. Uh, we've got our button prepped, not really tied to anything or does anything, so we'll need to finish up the functionality on that. We've got our button prepared to link it to Twitter and add more functionality to that. And we've got a, a placeholder for our quote. We're working on the JavaScript section of this particular nightmare. And uh, I'm just going through some of our past lessons and resources here at Free Code Camp. So yeah, good times. What's, uh, what's up with you, Elliot Judd? on a thurs yeah thursday afternoon hopefully it's going better than mine 
Ah, okay, nice. Good practicing exercise. Yes, yes, one of those motivational jump-out-the-window type exercises. We still haven't quite made it to the window yet. Um, so what are we doing? We are converting the data. What's actually happening? We've got our HTML variable set, ready, and waiting to receive. Only change code below this line. JSON for each function value, variable keys, it takes the object.keys value, and then it's adding plus equals the div class, whatever that is, to HTML. Um, let me, hold on, there's issues, and... Perfect. Awesome. Good, good, good. Okay. Texty issues. Uh, things and stuff. So, we're, it's plus equals into HTML. So, all of this is going to dump in there. Div class cat. So, keys dot for each function key, HTML plus equals, and there's a lot of concatenation. The key and the value key. And then div and break. So before we have our click event, message will go here. Here is the message. When we click get message, it changes. Tons of fun. Now, with all of this, when we click get message, ta da, there's all kinds of noise that gets poured in here. Cat photo finder, ID link, Amazon stuff, image links, way cool. All right. Elliot Judd, it's more like a Friday early morning for me. Ah, okay. Gotcha. You're you're in the future. We're we're trapped in the past. Uh but yes, I'm good. Thanks. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Good times. Fridays are fun. Uh, we are so close. I don't... Uh, let's just set up the beginning portion before we fall apart into the awfulness that is. So, all of this adjacent nonsense is getting dumped into HTML, and then that's getting called with dot message or the class ID message in HTML here. Is that what's happening? That's what seems like what's going on. All of this is awful. Let's do this. Let's start typing. So, variable quotes, one, two, and three. Document.ready. We want it to take get message on click function. All right. Get message. Little kitty, our nose is so itchy. Are you laying on the Kleenex again or our tissue thing? Oh my god, you are. Great, now it's just all furry. It was sneezy before, but now it's sneezy and furry. This is awful. Oh, I apologize. Don't mind me. Dear god. We're gonna blow a lung, <laughs> we're gonna blow a lung out trying to clear our face hole. Sweet. Jesus. I don't know why we have three cats. Three cats was such a bad idea. They trick you with the first cat, being like, hey, one cat's fun, two should be more fun. And then you end up with two, and you're like, well, it's all downhill from here. How much more damage can the third cat do, right? Slippery slope. 
what am I looking at? Oh, uh, get, get stuff. Get, uh, dot, get message, dot, something to do with something. Tofer. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a scary idea. Uh, Ellie, I love using sneezy, furry Kleenex to clean my face holes. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a. Uh, hard day to be steven what were we looking at we were looking at this getting stuff on it's the on click it's on a click event of course click on click And something. Wasn't there a space? A comma and a space? Function. That's what it is. Function. Emptiness. More curly braces and yet another dollar sign. On click. Function. Another curly brace. Yet another dollar sign. This is was it get Jason? It was I thought it was get Jason. Yeah, get oh, but it's not in quotes. That was the difference. Or it wasn't in the parentheses in quotes. That will come later. It's just get Jason. Although we don't need cats. This is well, this is where it's all starting to change for us. I don't know. I do need this portion. I don't know what the cats is going to do for us. Maybe we can just do Jason dot Jason. Seems a little redundant. I'm not actually sure that's going to help anyone at all. Let's do get, get something, get slash dot. I don't th I think that's specific to free code camp. Or is that like an external link? Is there like a JSON website instead of .org it's .json? Is this a functional thing? It might be. Yeah, no, no, uh -uh, that's not a thing. So what the deuce am I supposed to do? I mean, we can we can keep typing it out and pretend like it's going to work. Function. And Jason. With curly stuff as well. All right, from here, we are going to have stuff and such mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm little kitty what are you thinking of doing should we google it no let's check theirs again for confirmation cuz we are beyond confused yeah they're doing some in frame nonsense which that's not going to happen get quote you know what? I bet doing all of this JSON crap isn't needed since we were just going to set up an array within JavaScript. I think this is only needed if we we're going to pull from an external source, but we aren't going to be pulling from an external source. So all we need is the ready and the click event 
That's all we need. We don't actually need the external link to that stuff. So we can back off that last section. Same with this. So we're down to one. And then from here, we can continue on get message on click. And then we can also set up another, I don't know if it goes right below this or within it. I think it goes below it. The tweet option. And that's my biggest concern. As, as much as I've been struggling with the figuring out how to implement the quote, that's kind of been the least of my worries because it's just moving data somewhere. My concern is linking it to Twitter, the being able to send out the tweet function. So that's that's what I'm concerned about, but... Topher, get message class is not defined in your HTML. Oh, aha. Okay. So I should have maybe this be h1 class get message. Get message. And let's make this capitalized too. Get message. Uh, also, you're missing one of the closing divs in your HTML structure. A link stuff. Um, oh, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, don't mind me, don't mind me. Good, good, good. Why wouldn't you make the... Hold on, hold on. Tof also, you're missing one of the closing divs. Right, right, right. So, one div, two div, three... Open did you're right, you're right. We did we added in the newest div class because before it was one through three in h1. That was all we had. But then we set up the button class and we never did the fourth closing div. This is awful. This is just this is bad. This is all bad. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, okay. Uh, Follow-up question. And... And... Yeah. Wouldn't you make the button the thing with the get message class? Oh, because I'm trying to extract the life out of the button. Is that what's happening? Is that what I'm doing? That makes more sense. I guess I would. I'm going to assume that's what I should do. So, instead of this, let's cut that out. And from here... Button class. Wait, we already have class BTM, but that's bootstrap classes. I don't think it's going to change anything. I guess we can add it to the div for button. I could do another div inside of it. I feel like that's starting to get weird. Is it wrong if I do another div 
and give it get message. I guess it kind of is. That's a little strange. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Everyone's uncomfortable now. All right, so... That would be get message, which means following the same song and dance, if we were to do another div, this could also be this would be send message, tweet message. What wording did they use? They use uh, tweet quote. We'll do tweet message. Yeah. Tweet message. Everything hurts. Why? Why? You know what? Instead of message, let's do get quote and tweet quote. Get quote. I don't know. That's tweet quote. I don't think we're prepared for this at all. Get quote. Okay. There's that. There's this. One more closing div. We may have to finish this nightmare tomorrow. I know we're getting exceedingly close, and the more and more time we we invest, the more we should try and knock it out today, but this is bad times. Uh, anyways, get instead of get message, get quote. And from there, we want uh, get a uh, tweet quote on a click event. Click. Function. Super death. Curly nonsense. Semicolon. Okay. What would I actually put in here? I've got variable quotes. That's my quote array. And when I click, once the document's ready, when I go to implement a click event on get quote, which is tied to this button. God, I'm thinking this through. You can do it, Steven. We want it to filter through our quotes. So a for loop? Yeah, for, no, death. Um, instead of a for loop, I do want it to be a for loop. But I don't know what I want to do with that for loop. Close, close message.html Aha! Random number is random number between quote length. That's so cool. Okay, so I would do, I believe it's again math dot random, right? 
or is it math for round? I think it's math.random. So math.random returns a floating point pseudo random number in your range zero to one. That is zero inclusive, but nothing including one, which you can then scale to your desired range. The implementation selects the initial seed. The random number generation algorithm can't be chosen or reset by the user. Math.random, cool. A floating point between zero, inclusive, it includes zero, doesn't include one. It'll never touch one. Point, blah, 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 blah. Um, super death, super death. We are so confused. Super death. Okay, note the numbers, um, blankety, blankety, blank, function, get random, yeah, get random, um, return math.random. How do we shove in our array that we want to use? I guess math.random and then in parentheses our array. Quotes? That's what I'm feeling for now. I don't think that's right, but we're going to try our best. Let's see how that goes. So, uh, for... You want... Whoa, wait, hold on. We don't even need a for loop. Because when it go when we go to click on it, that's going to trigger the random number. So we don't need to do for loop, blah, 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 and then return math.number, whatever. We just throw in math.random, blankety, blankety, blank. Math, uh, return, return, print. Console log. Son of a bitch. Maybe it's just, I think it's just math, I think. We don't even need to worry about it. Math dot random quotes. Quotes dot length. Okay, okay. I see what you were saying, Topher. Okay, dot length. Um. Uh. Wait. Quotes dot length. Wait, between zero and quote length. Uh huh. Oh, quote length will give us the total minus one because it's zero indexed. So it's from zero to wherever. Gotcha, gotcha. Zero indexed. Okay, we we recalled. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we'll wait. Light bulb, kind of. John Paul the Third, you are really into this, kind of. Yeah, after two hundred twenty nine days, we're we're doomed. This ship is going down. Um, okay. Topher Yates, light bulb. He he put the quotes in an HTML element. Put the quotes in. An HTML element. No, this is not correct. Everything's wrong. Damn, damn. Okay, hold on. Um, you can do it, Steven. You can do it. HTML element. Like the... I, we, we had one before. Like this. Topher, yeah, okay. Quote text dot html quotes random num fascinating so we were off this this is all bad this is all bad get quote random click event so dollar this is in place of the the dollar uh, get JSON stuff. Aha, that's what's happening. So another another thing. 
quote text dot uh, quote text. It's like, why does quote text seem familiar? It's because the class I set up. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, God. This is sad. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God we're documenting all of this for history to judge forever. <laughs> this will, we'll need to, to definitely monetize this and turn this into how not to learn how to code. Which is usually a great way of how to learn things, is by avoiding the wrong way to do it. Yeah. No bueno. Quotes. In the array. Random number. Random. Number. Okay. Uh, random number or, or math.num? I guess random number works. Eh, it's probably that, but... Yeah, it's random num. It's random num. I was just concerned. I don't know if that was shorthand for the math.random in parentheses and all that noise within it. So now from here, that'll, what happens when I click it? Nothing yet. Oh, uh, um, do that. No, no. Now just define the random number variable with a random number between zero and quote length minus one. So, can I, should I create the variable up here? Is that cool? I can do that? God, I hope that's okay. Or maybe I have to, I should probably do it within the function. Um, we'll try in here first. We'll try in here first. Let's get rid of this guy. And variable random num equals math dot random zero to quotes dot length minus one. I almost feel like that might work. You need a random number every time. Uh, Topher Gates, you need a random every time the button is clicked. I do. So I should have it. Oh God, am I? Ran dumb random. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Randon. <laughs> oh god. Delirium's click uh kicking in. Sweet Jesus. Delirious Steven. Never good. Well it's the best. Delirious Steven is the best Steven, but highly questionable at that. So in random numbers, uh, min and max, math dot random. I just want to make sure. Why is it just sitting there empty? Why do I have stuff in it? Zero to one. I still have it set up wrong. I know I do. Variable random. It's not zero to quotes length minus one. Does it go inside? I don't 
No, no, it doesn't go inside. It doesn't go inside. It goes there. Because if it were here, and we were to comment that out, see, it's no longer blue. It do, It's not tied to it. That's just noise. Versus... When that's commented out and it's here, it is blue. Eh? Pretty cool. Don't mind me. Phone call stuff. Holy hell, one phone call after another. Death, death, death. All right, uh, okay, you need a random number every time the button is clicked. I was bored, so I made this. Let's find out. Let's see what was made. Twitch stuff. And we're going, and we're going, and we're looking. You made this. Let's find out. Don't mind me. I see there's more quotes. Yeah, I made what you're making. Open link in a new tab. Close that. JF Fiddle. Bitchin'. Awesome. Okay. Good times. We'll, we'll circle back to that. Let me just jump back over, read through the quotes. Uh, check spelling of random, by the way. 
at LHJ, it should be quote lengths minus one. Otherwise, you could get an out of range error. No, uh, Elliot Topher Gates don't have to due to math dot floor. Oh, right, because one is excluded from math dot random. So, do I not need to put in all this noise? Is that what's happening? Math dot stuff and such. Let's see what was done here. Elliot, you provided an awesome breakdown. Wow, even more simplified. And it's in a way that I can read it, too. How cool is that? ID container, ID quote. 8-1 is our quote. And paragraph, ID quote text. Click me. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. So, there's that. Ha ha, quote three. And we click it, and, and, and uh, we, we click it again. Ah ha, 13. And four. Little kitty, are you looking at this? Look, hey, hey, hey. Aw, hey. oh, boo. You're a poor sport, little cat. Elliot made a bitchin' quote generator. Look at that. Good times. Okay, so, uh, quote stuff. We've got our CSS, right, right, it's a thing, it's working, it's doing its stuff. From here, all of our quotes, ah, let instead of variable. Nice, classy. The new, new JavaScript. Uh, quote on click function, let index, fascinating, math.floor, Oh, math.floor math.random times quote length. Son of a... Okay, you're right. You're right. Oh, and I see what you guys were talking about. It's between 0 point whatever and quote length. Since it's never 1, it'll never fully be at the end. So you won't get that out of range number. Because it will never be... 1 times the quote length, and 1 out of, since there's 18 things here, but it's 0 indexed, it's really 0 to 17, but the quote length will return 18, so it'll never be 1 times 18 since math.random automatically excludes 1. Very clever, very cool. Okay, good to know. <laughs> um, see, we can read and understand it when it's broken down and normal and straightforward it's just i suck at piecing it together but i can read the basic stuff but when it's scary like even even understanding all this and again even when the answer's in front of me this is just noise i don't know what i'm looking at this is sad and scary and everything hurts what it, yeah why why are we coloring the floor that's not cool no one wants to be a part of that Keep your thousand colors to yourself. No. Not necessary. Anyways, enough ranting. Um, back to the beautiful solution provided by Elliot. Uh, and, and with the helpful guidance of Topher guiding us thus far, we will implement uh, math.floor, math.random times our quotes length. And that should start to be a step in the right direction. From here, math.floor, math.floor, oh, and the missus is home, damn, we might have to continue this nightmare tomorrow, because I should be heading down to help her bring things inside, she just opened the garage, pretty sure she needs help. But coding calls, coding calls, math.floor, lowercase f, math.random, times, uh, quotes.length, Okay, there's that. 
and now we need to implement that though somewhere and the way to link the two would be quote text dot text quote text index do we already have quote dot text where it okay id is quote text which i already have quote text is he let's close out of this everything we don't need let's close out of how about that let's close out of this and that and get rid of the click event get rid of this guy And, yeah, okay, so, we are Topher, click on your button, okay, nothing is quite happening yet, I can see that it likes to click, but it's not doing anything, I think I need to tie it, oh god, somehow I need to do stuff over here. Let me see. This party may need to continue another day. Let me, let me... Hey, Yum Yum, how are you doing? As close as we've gotten, this nightmare may need to continue on tomorrow. Let me find out. Let me double check on my misses to make sure to see if my assistance is needed. Hold the phone. Don't mind me. All right, hold on. There's crisis not quite averted. Averted. I do need to assist, so we need to call this quits for now. We're so close. We have Elliot's guide. All we need to do is tie this stuff together in the future. So we'll be sure to save that. Let's go ahead and save this in the meantime. Uh, do, 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 okay, let's do, let's get rid of this, actually, you know what, there was one more thing I wanted to try, paragraph ID, let's try this really quick, Ah, no, death, 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 death. We're, no, 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 no trying, sorry. Let me, let me bounce out of all of this. So we're saving that. Our pen is saved for today. Um, random quote machine. Where's our profile? All right, it ends quotes and stuff. It ends on a fizzle. Thank you, though, for everyone and every... Thank you to everyone for all the assistance. Uh, Topher, 
as always, thank you for helping out. Uh, Jerome724, thank you for stopping by. Alpha Sweet, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, Jerome724, thank you as well. Elliot, uh, big thank you for the lovely breakdown of everything. That will be our guide as we continue on through the nightmare tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, we are backing out. John Paul III, thank you for hanging out, swinging by the stream. And Yum Yum, yes, unfortunately, you're too late. You caught the tail end of it as it ends on a fizzle. Isn't there supposed to be a quote API that you're supposed to use? Somewhere, probably, and uh, Desugoji, is he trying to update the H1 tag? I need to update the H1 tag. I believe that is where the hole is in my logic and code. But in the meantime, we will save that mystery for another day. Let's go ahead and back out of all of this. Day 229 ends on a fizzle. Not surprised. Uh, the adventure continues tomorrow with day 230. In the meantime, we are stopping the stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!